On this tape, Master Zhang Xia Xin demonstrates the Chan Su Chin exercises. Chan Su means silk reeling cocoon, and Chin means internal flowing energy. The name comes from the way that the practitioner attempts to move his internal energy. The silk spirals as it is removed and the cocoon rotates. The silk represents the way the energy flows through the body and the cocoon represents your waist which rotates on its axis. Master Zhang at 65 has studied the martial arts since he was nine. He has practiced the Chen style Tai Chi Chuan since 1963 and has studied with the most famous Chen style teachers still living in China. These exercises originated in the Chen system, which is the original Tai Chi Chuan. The undeniable benefits of their practice can be universally applied, however, to all systems of martial arts, as well as for general health. People of all ages and experience can benefit from this practice of loosening the 18 movable joints of the body. The study of this relaxing non-impact exercise routine can be broken down into two stages. First, concentrate on learning the external aspect of the movements. Observe how the weight shifts, the torso turns, and the directions in which the head and arms move. Try to synchronize these movements so when one part of the body moves, the whole body reacts. In China they say, when the wind blows through the tree, the whole tree moves. The leaves and branches react in unison with the trunk. The same principle applies in these exercises. When you feel confident about the external aspect of the form, proceed to the second stage. Try to move your body from the inside out. All the movements begin internally and are centered in the area of the Dan Tien, which is located two inches below the navel. The narration on this tape primarily addresses this aspect of the training. Performing the exercises outdoor is ideal. If due to weather you must practice indoors, make sure you have some source of fresh air available, since deep breathing is an essential part of the practice. Keep the lips closed, the tongue on the roof of the mouth, and the jaw relaxed. Remember, these are relaxation exercises. You should not feel any pain while practicing. If you do, back off, use a higher stance, or circles that are more comfortable to your individual needs. Listen to what your body is telling you. Follow Master Zhang and repeat the 25 movements with him as he begins with the head and ends with the feet. This is the commencement of Chan Su Chin, or the Silk Reeling Cocoon Energy Exercises. These movements are designed to gather your chi or energy and focus your E or mind. As you raise your hands, inhale deeply from the internal Dantian area located two inches below your navel. Expand the abdomen and chest. As your hands descend, exhale, contracting the chest and abdomen. The movement should be slow and even, synchronized with your breath. Base this movement in your waist. The torso turns first, and then the head continues. Arch the eyes as your head turns from side to side. Don't just rotate the neck.
This movement begins in the Dantian area located just below the navel. Extend the energy through the muscles to the exterior moving parts of the body. Relax. Begin the movement in the Dantian and extend it to the shoulder and feet. As you concentrate on isolating the rotation of the shoulder, loosen the joint, open and close the chest, and alternate your weight distribution back and forth between your rear and front foot.
With your weight distributed equally between both legs, slowly move up and down while rotating the shoulders. Generally, with all the exercises, inhale when opening and exhale when closing. As you move your way to the rear foot, open the chest and extend the arms. As you shift your weight forward to the front foot, close the chest. Lower the torso and head, extending the arms backward. Internally, your muscles should feel connected like a snake. As the torso rotates on the vertical axis, keep the head erect, the spine straight, and the buttocks tucked in. As the weight moves forward and the hand extends in a circular motion from the Dantian, open the ribs. As the weight shifts to the rear and the hand comes back while the torso turns, close the ribs. Relax. Move slowly at an even speed, synchronized with deep breathing. Inhale to full external extension. Exhale as the hand returns to full internal contraction.
The name of this movement is Lazy Dragon Rolling on the Beach. As you employ the previously mentioned principles to your practice, consider implementing the following eight qualities to your routine. Empty and full. Open and close. Up and down. Circle and spiral. The weight shifts between your feet. One leg is empty, the other full. The muscles open and close as you extend and contract. The body shifts up and down in your stance. All the movements are circular. As the circle moves up and down, you create the spiral. This movement is called lazy about tying the coat. In the high horse stance position, focus on rotating the waist, opening the chest, and extending the arm. After full extension, slowly exhale, reverse the process, and contract. Shift the weight, rotate the torso, open and close the chest while keeping the arms loose.
With your weight distributed evenly between each leg, inhale and expand the chest as you rise up from a low horse stance. After full extension, exhale slowly, contracting internally as you go back down. While adhering to the principles previously mentioned, pay particular attention to opening and closing the chest in this movement.
As the movement begins, inhale deeply and expand the chest. At full extension, exhale and let the arms drop and lungs collapse. Focus on the eight qualities of practice. Empty full, open close, up down, and circle spiral. The movement is centered in the waist. The torso is the axis. As one hand spirals up, the other pushes down, opening the chest. This movement is centered in the waist. First the torso turns, then the shoulder joint rotates, and finally the elbow circles. Try to connect the movements without breaks so the energy or chi can flow freely. Coordinate your organs and muscles as if you were in water swimming.
Keep the weight evenly distributed between the legs while moving from the medium to high horse stance position. Inhale as you open the chest. Exhale and slowly contract inwardly as you go down to the lower stance. Although this exercise is designed to loosen the wrist, it begins internally in the Dantian region below the navel. The movement travels from there, through the torso to the shoulder, out the shoulder, down the arm, through the elbow to the wrist. If you observe Master Zhang closely, you will see that he is not just flexing his wrist. First, rotate the hips clockwise and counterclockwise in circles horizontal to the ground. Second, rotate the internal organs forward and back folding your stomach and moving the hips in circles vertical to the ground. Then reverse the movement. In the medium horse stance, with the weight evenly distributed between the legs, 
rotate the torso to the sides. The torso leads the arms. The fist is just an extension of the torso, as in the end of a whip. Add to the preceding movement, opening and closing the chest, synchronized with the hand movements. Remember to stay relaxed. Keep the root of your stance connected to the leg, hip, torso, head, and arms. The part should feel as if they are sticking together as one as they move in unison. Inhale and open as you rise. Exhale and close as the circle descends. Don't clench the fists too tightly. Again, the center of the circle is the internal Dantian area below the navel. All the movement is led from this point. As in the preceding exercise, feel the parts of the body fuse with your root as the weight shifts between the legs. Turn the waist as the fists spiral forward and back.
Take a wide stance. Support the knee with your hands and rotate it in both directions. Do all these stretching movements slowly. If you feel any stress or pain, do them in a higher, more comfortable position. Gradually, over time, try to do them as deeply as Master Zong. It is very important to remember to support the knee with your hands at all times. The rotation starts in the hip joints, is centered in the knees, and passes through to the ankle joints. Rotate the hip joint so the energy travels in a circular way through the leg, spiraling to the heel. The heel kick comes from the waist, not just the leg or the foot. Rotate the heel to flex the ankle joint and move the weight forward slowly with your knee aligned over the toe. You shouldn't feel any pain during any of the preceding exercises. If you do, stop at the level with which you are comfortable. Gradually, try to duplicate Master Zong's movements precisely. At the close of the exercises, stand with your feet shoulder length apart and knees slightly bent. Open and inhale to gather your energy or chi, then close and contract internally, pulling the arms back, focusing on the Dantian area below the navel. Begin to shake from the Dantian outward, like ripples in a pool of water. Release the energy to the extremities, keeping the fists loose. Although these exercises have tremendous health benefits, they originated in martial arts training. Master Zong will demonstrate the martial art applications 
of two of the exercises to illustrate this point. This is the wrong one. And it's avoiding. The body avoiding. This is wrong. Okay. This is the right one. Chest open. And also the this is is yielding, it's not avoiding. Now see the function. This wrong one, you see? Avoid. We push out. This is right one. Shoulder, yeah. Shoulder. Slip. Okay. This is yield. Okay. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time from this thing. From the fire. Push Push shoulder. Push shoulder. Push shoulder. Push shoulder. Push shoulder. Push shoulder. Okay, this is the wrong one, double. Double, A lot of people were doing this way. Okay. A lot of people were doing this way. Back force. Uh, yeah, body back force. You don't want to move the shoulder. Okay. The rest of the body is not important. The only the shoulder is made your movement there. Yeah. Big movement in the shoulder. This is the right way. Shoulder yielding. Push. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Okay. Good.